Hey. Hey. Thanks for meeting. Of course. Did you, uh, find anything else? Well, most of the data on the drives were destroyed. Your adversary broke them up pretty good. But I did find one thing. What's that? I found a location. Coordinates to a location from what it seems like it might be a hideout. Really? Yes. I don't know what you plan on doing with this information. But you don't know who these people are. They could be very dangerous, so I advise you to please be careful. Yeah, of course I will be. I mean, I mean, thanks, though. Of course. Be safe. So it is very rainy yeah. and uh, very late in the evening, mm -hmm. but we follow the coordinates yep. to this certain location. It's kind of off by itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, as you can mm -hmm. see, like literally it's just nothing. Just all open. It's like all open. There's a, there's a road right here, but yeah. there's really nothing here. But the only thing is, is that's the house there. There's a house right there. There's a truck out front. Yeah, there is a truck. I can't see it. I'm trying to get down. Yeah, here you go. Oh, there ain't blinds and then three big windows up there, dude. We need to kind of be careful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you is. You see us through them big windows up front there. Yeah, so there is somebody there. So what do you think we ought to do? I don't see any lights on, though. It's like a little something blue in that window, but I mean. Yeah. I don't know. Well. You want to try to go in? Yeah. Well, I think at we'll, least look through some windows or something. Well, we, I don't. If there is somebody there, I don't want to be seen by those windows. Exactly. So I think what we ought to do is go around this way to the back, because maybe yeah. okay. a lot of people don't look out their back door or back yeah. windows as much. But there's I don't know. nothing we'll back to, there. According there to is. I don't know if there's a window on the side of the house. What we can do is come up on the side. Okay. And. Uh, Look at the back, maybe we'll see about getting in the back. We can use that, that building, that little building, that shed looking thing for kind of like cover. Yeah. Just walk up here a little bit and then jump across down there. Looks better. Well, we found the back of the house. There's a light on on the end here. Yeah. There is. Yeah, there is a light on. Let's, uh, let's try the back door. Here, I'm, I'm gonna try to go up there by myself. You stay here. Since you got the bag and stuff. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm gonna try to go fast. We don't need to lose this. Of course not. This one doesn't have a screen on it. No. This one doesn't have a screen on it. No. Look at that. How about that? It's a little bit open. I can't see anything. Well, no. you want to go here? I'll go in first. Alright, And then you can hand me the camera. So. Okay. Yep, good. Okay, here we go. Alright, hang out.
From what I can tell, this is just a safe house. Because, like I said, it's mm -hmm. just like a bed in, in that room and then mm -hmm. nothing in the kitchen and living room. There's like a couch and one it's seat. That's really, things. yeah, that's really it. So, well, I mean, yeah. M my question is, is what's going on here? And, uh, Does it look like there's somebody here, like signs of no. anybody being here? No, I mean, anything? there's like a few things, but the only sign is just that uh, truck in the front. That's really yeah. it. So, but you know, one thing that's very weird is that yeah. this looks exactly like my house. Really? Yeah, so what? 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 Are you kidding me, dude? Dude, what? Wait, what? What is that? Smoke? Dude, try the window, try the window. so fascinated with that thing. It's not just a thing. This exclusive piece of work is more than just some work. As you know, it has some abilities. We have a little bit of experience. I know you have no reason to tell anything about the Halocron. Why should I? Well, I mean, we've been trying to figure out a lot of things lately, and you seem to know a lot about this Halocron. I mean, you literally made gloves to resist the effects that it has, you know, that it can do on someone. Years ago, I worked for the company. Explosive systems. That is correct. It was an old ammunition base that our company took over. There was some military there, but at that point, it was mainly just an ammunition base. It was brought there with a team to help create new weapons for the military. Advanced weapons. The Halo Crown was brought there for experiments. I'm not sure where it came from. I knew the potential it had and what it could do. Like with your friend here. What do you mean? Well, Explorer was performing experiments that were too risky for the Halo Con. Since I was not cooperating, I was terminated. And of course you know about the explosion that happened. After that, they hid the Halo Con and claimed the explosion was caused by faulty ammunition. Someone I was close to told me what happened, so I decided to take matters into my own hands. It turns out, you beat me to it. But wait, if, how did we find it if it happened 10 years ago? The Halo Con works in strange ways. I showed up after it did what it did to you. I noticed something strange with the tall one here. I knew you were the one that touched it. You had an aura. I discovered the orb has the ability to short circuit the electrical impulse and the frontal lobe, which allow mind control. So you were the one who brainwashed me? Yes. Why? I have my reasons. And you're not going to tell us? I'll tell you this. Mind control is not the only thing the Halo Con can do. You see, I have big plans, and your physique is the perfect specimen. I know I've given you a lot of information, but it won't matter since you'll be dead. Except for you. Thank you. 